everyone it's mizuki arts welcome back to my channel um today we are going to do a much needed desk cleaning video um as you can see um it's a little bit chaotic i had some art block this week so i got kind of got caught up in um a random project um, and as a result my art desk is just especially crusty um so i felt it was probably time to start off um you know, uh, I guess mid-January, uh, <laughs> correctly, um, by cleaning up my space, making it fresh, um, and new again, uh, we're gonna probably redo all this display space up here, maybe take down some old art, um, because, I don't know, um, you know, all that fun stuff. Starting off, I just decided to take some of the clutter away because frankly, I couldn't even focus on one single thing with all these pens and stuff in the way. And I tried to organize things a little bit at a time um, and just clean up things that were really, really bothering me. I actually went through like all my pens and brushes and like picked out the ones that were completely destroyed or dead um, and threw those away. Then I swept up some of the moss from my impromptu Calico Critter Treehouse project. Um, and and then I picked up some of the clutter from old videos because sometimes I leave those things around for no reason. Um, and then I started to organize things, like I gathered my palettes and stuff and put them on the little cart that I bought. Um, went through some more containers of pens and pencils uh, because, yeah, it was kind of a mess. Um, and I tried to test out each one to make sure I wasn't keeping uh, art supplies that I couldn't even use if I wanted to. This is when I discovered to my great dismay that most of the microns that I own are actually dead um, and there's a lot of dirt and dust on my desk at pretty much all times, which is absolutely aggravating. I am begging you, if you are an artist or creative or if you have a desk at all, please, please, please clean it. Uh, it pays so, so much just to take care of your stuff, you know, and make sure you're not keeping supplies that you don't use or don't work anymore or are broken. I know it's hard to get rid of stuff that you spent good money on, but if you're all done using it, just get rid of it. Um, <laughs> it's something that I've had to uh, work my way through, and sometimes I like to just set things aside for a little bit and think about uh, like getting rid of it. Um, just think about it for longer, I guess, to make sure um, I'm comfortable with that <laughs> and I acknowledge that I don't need it anymore. Um, I actually did that with a lot of supplies that I ended up passing down to other people. Um, it was kind of hard to give up because I had memories attached to them, etc, etc. But it's worth it in the end because obviously now you have free space for new stuff. Aside from reorganizing and getting rid of things I didn't need, I also washed all of my paintbrushes and like you saw, I wiped down like all my uh, work surfaces like the drawing board and the uh, self-healing rubber mat and of course the table. I just tried to take care of my stuff as much as I could. Obviously, I didn't get to redo the little ledge above my desk, so I didn't get to redo everything I wanted to in this video, but there's always another time for that, and I'm really glad I got to maintain my space. Hello again! Uh, I'm back on camera again. Um, so, I am a little bit worried that the end result of this doesn't show much of a difference between the before and after, because a lot of the setup is actually pretty similar. Like, I still have my laptop over here, uh, I still have the sunset lamp and the sketchbooks and stuff, and then over here I still have this cool little chest with like the acrylic paints but there's like some smaller details that i ended up changing so i'm gonna do like a little itty bitty itty bitty itty bitty mini tour um just to kind of show you the more functional things that changed you know um obviously you guys saw like i wiped things down um <laughs> make sure you guys do that more often than i do um because a lot of dust can accumulate like really quickly like even after i wiped down i still feel like there's eraser shavings everywhere um which is honestly just embarrassing because guys i like took everything off of each side like individually and like wiped things down and i just didn't do it well enough i guess um so i still have like eraser shavings and 
itty bitty bits of dust that are kind of around and uh, I couldn't get things like acrylic paint off. Um, I might just need a stronger cleaner or something. Um, but obviously I don't want to damage something like a desk lamp. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, let's just get into the mini tour and see what's changed. So over here I moved my um, shop stock, like I moved my prints at least. Um, my stickers are actually under the desk um, in like a little plastic storage unit, but um, my prints are up on my desk uh, just because I find that I sell a lot more of those these days. And there are some in here that I actually don't sell, like this heartbreak one. Um, <laughs> that was just for one I made for a gallery um, and then I also have my originals in like these uh, envelopes um, and I have little cards for writing thank yous to people who make big orders um, and then I have one cup that's just for paint brushes so uh, I have brushes in here that are actually like still wet um, and some are actually like my grandmother's paint brushes too. Um, I don't really use brushes that were my grandmother's, but they're still there um, because I love my grandma um, <laughs> and she, she was a really great painter um, and I want to keep that kind of essence of her kind of around if that makes sense. Sorry if I'm making too much noise, I'm really struggling with the um, lamp that's over here. Um, I have this little fairy jar. Um, that I made with some fairy lights, actual moss from my backyard, stones, and clay mushrooms. I have my lava lamp, which is still getting ready, um, in this jar uh, for like pencils and colored pencils. Over here we have kind of this, um, oops. Over here we have kind of a catch-all for like scissors, pens, my X-Acto knife, um, erasers. And here we have this cute little bear that my sister made for me, so. Thank you to her for that, it's so cute. Um, I'm glad I finally have a spot for it on my desk. And then right here we have this chest um, with some acrylic paints on top. Um, I kind of think it's really impractical that I have like the paints on top of it, like I can't open it because of that. Um, but I don't really store anything in here that I use too often. Um, and I kind of like the backdrop this creates for my videos. So I'm kind of okay with the trade-off just because having an interesting background for my videos um, is kind of important to me. Like I don't really have a lot that's very like aesthetic about my desk just because it is in a garage or at least um, it kind of feels vulnerable <laughs> when I share my, my desk uh, with you know people on instagram or youtube or whatever um so i kind of like to have something interesting so you don't see like the first thing you see isn't the concrete oh um, so obviously i'm very grateful for the space and to have an area of my own because most people don't have that um but i you know cover up the concrete that's that's what's important over here i just have more storage markers uh, Sharpies and brush pens and then regular like gel pens, junky doodle pens. This thing I got from the Dollar Tree um, and it's holding all kinds of different junk. It'll probably fill out more um, as I use it more. Um, I've got like glue, a spray bottle, my stamps, a water cup for when I paint, uh, a little to-do note pad, um, my mouse, sunset lamp, and of course laptop. And then up here I have some more decor. Um, and some stuff that I don't really use as often, like glitter and rhinestones. The cart has kind of a little bit of everything. I have my palettes, um, a random set of calico critters I just bought, um, this thing that's holding pencils, pens, and brushes. I have a set of pencils that my aunt got me for my birthday. Um, this thing is kind of holding stuff that I use like really often, like my scissors and brushes. Although admittedly, as soon as college starts back up, um, a lot of this stuff will disappear um, because I'll be taking it with me um, like when I go in school. <laughs> I moved my packaging stuff down here just because it was so hard to reach before. Um, and the last level is kind of a catch-all for just junk. Um, and honestly, stuff I might get rid of, I just have to kind of think it over. So it's really not worth seeing. So yeah, that's it uh, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
I hope it was at least a little bit interesting. Uh, I kind of wish I had filmed more of me cleaning and I wish I'd gotten to um, redo the back shelf, but um, I didn't have the time. I don't know, cleaning this took longer than I thought it would. Like going through each of my pens individually and like seeing what was dried out and what wasn't. And I even like got rid of some brushes that were like absolutely destroyed. Like I didn't used to be kind to my art supplies. So there was a lot of stuff that was just thrown back in with my regular stuff that was like completely destroyed. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you all so much for watching and thank you for 700 subscribers. Um, it kind of feels like that came really fast and it's a great way to start off the, the new year, so to speak. Um, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!